in the Photo P mock-up tutorials, I showed you uh, this image, only it was holding kind of a green package with little text that ran all over the place. I uh, told you I wanted to use this, so I made this little shape, just this one, the red, yellow, teal, and blue, um, with a little white around it. And it was under 400 pixels square. And then in Photopea, with that little um, image, it's under Edit, Define New Pattern. And that creates a pattern that the, you then have to fill somewhere. And you open up a new project and select this large YouTube. You know, so it's 25... Uh, 12560 by 1440. And you can name this thing if you want, but you create it. And then I just added a layer and went edit, fill. And then instead of filling with a color, you go down to pattern and then pick the pattern that you made, which is going to be right here. But uh, I haven't made any patterns here. Uh, I did that at school and you fill it and then you get this great big thing. We'll just go ahead and do that and say, okay, just so you can see it. But I also lowered the transparency because I, I didn't like it. I tested it and didn't like it. So I kind of lowered the transparency so you could see through this a little bit uh, because it's tissue paper. And you notice these things get squished down here a little bit and gets wrapped around. That's the nature of this. Their displacement map isn't quite as good. This isn't as realistic. It's not quite as believable right here that this really is on this package. But that has to do with how this was created. And hey, it's free, you know. So what are we complaining about? Uh, so... There's another challenge for you. If you want to know where to get that, well, I already showed you, so you have to go do those mock-up tutorials. Well, Scotch, I already did it. Well, looks like you weren't paying attention, so I'd go back and do that. So there you go. I'm not adding anything else to the reminders, at least right now. I might before school if I get an email. So do look down here and make sure that there's nothing new. But meanwhile, make art. Yeah? And for those of you who are having trouble with PhotoP or Gravit or whatever, go back to the week one through four archive and go to that last Friday and look down that list. I link you to Adobe Spark and Adobe Color and Photoshop Express. There's other tools that you can use. And if you just search for free tools, there's even more. So if you get stuck and tech is happening, pivot, try something else, and do an experiment. Make a pattern. See how this works for you. You know, the first pattern I made didn't work out as well as the second one. Live and learn. Grow. Huh? Experiment. Have fun.